space. Oh, my dear. You should have just moved us, Brenda. Is that her name? You should have just moved us, Brenda, to a bigger space. The people you were waiting for didn't even arrive for that booking, mind you. You should have just moved us. But okay, I'm back in Jovic, so I'm set call up. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. Um, but I'm back with the restaurant review, I'm back with something else, something new, and I really hope that you enjoy it. So without further ado, let's get to it. So I recently went to Cape Town, uh, like the rest of Johannesburg, in um, December, and um, I went to a couple of restaurants, and I decided to do a review on one of them, and it's called Chinchilla. Chinchilla is on Clue of Street, um, is it Sea Point? I think it's in Sea Point and it is oh no yeah no no it's in cams bay yes that one is in cams bay oh my god i'm thinking of the other restaurant <sighs> anyway it's in cams bay literally on that street opposite the the beach in cams bay um it's at the top floor so the highest floor it's got beautiful views and let me just give you a little detail of each little thing that I noticed about it. Curb appeal. Now, it's a busy street. A lot of restaurants are on that street. So, to get there, I mean, we used an Uber. Um, I was the only one wearing heels, I think. No, no, I wasn't. Okay, no. But the point here is that the Uber parked right outside uh where the restaurant is so you can at least then jump the streets right but a very busy street guys very busy street if you intend of driving to cape town and then driving to places ah, dude like leave your car at the hotel or mbab or whatever and uber because parking is was rather let me say it was in december it was a nightmare there was no parking everything was full all the time right so Ubering is the best option to get around. So we Ubered and got out the Uber, I guess, and jumped the streets because, you know, we're on the side of the road in South Africa. And then I was like, where do I go? So because I'm smart, I went up the stairs. But as you, because the restaurant is up the stairs and there's something else downstairs, so I mean, you're gonna go upstairs. Uh, but there wasn't a clear direction as to where else to go. So I had to look around and I think I eventually saw the sign after I've gone up the stairs and then managed to go inside, managed to get to the entrance. Anyway, it's not the like it's not the easiest place to get to, but also you won't get like lost lost. But yeah, just saying. So when I eventually got to the first, because there's two desks that you're gonna pass before you get to your table. The first one was there downstairs. So up the stairs, but they're downstairs because you go further up again to get to the, the entrance of the restaurant itself um and that's where they ask are you here to see someone do you have a booking whatever so i said no we have a booking but they're already upstairs so they have no problem go through so you go up and you go further upstairs and then there's a on the landing of the staircases there's another desk and someone there to greet you um and that's when they lead you to your day your table or if you can see where you're going just go you know we don't need nobody needs to hold your hand um yeah so that's basically how it is it was quite friendly they were friendly and um i forgot the lady's name i did ask her anyway point here is that they were friendly and they did help me get to my table so i was pleased with that okay let's talk let's talk about my favorite part um the interior design so first it's a beautiful restaurant it's kind, kind of small there's not a lot of seating um but it was pretty beautiful they had this whole bohemian style to their restaurants they had a lot of couches and low chairs it's not ideal for eating purposes unless you're like okay eating on your on your on your lap which i wasn't um it would have been nice if the tables were a little higher if our chairs were that low but the tables were lower and i wasn't very uh, comfortable but it had stunning views of the camps bay beach stunning views it was open very open on that particular day it was windy af um so i got a little cold because i was wearing a short dress and open shoulder kind of dress and i was pretty but 
it was still cold but it is beautiful like to eat just look at the view it's, it was just so stunning i just i loved i loved i loved the views um just not very comfortable with the seating it's just maybe it's just me but i wasn't comfortable all right so the ambiance um it was chill there was music playing in the background there were people enjoying themselves um beautiful people came out just dressed really nice looked really good smelled really good i mean we were a group of ladies who looks bomb.com <laughs> yes and um i think we just we enjoyed ourselves it was chilled it was cape town after all cape town is very chilled um it wasn't um too full in fact it wasn't full and yeah i mean it wasn't like the best ambiance i've ever like experienced at a restaurant but it was chilled it was all right it was all right the menu first of all how do you in south africa as a restaurant only have four options for ciders and the ciders that people hardly drink explain that to me for two months anyway i wasn't impressed with that um and and also their prices for the drinks is like absurd a little absurd i saw that um and i wasn't interested in it so yeah i mean the drinks end disappointing but anyway the food um they had platters and meals and stuff it was quite affordable so we ordered a platter which had like chicken strips and beef on a, beef kebabs and chicken kebabs and little uh burgers on the tray was really only enough for like two to three people not the full group but also we just i don't know what turned us off of that place but i mean there was something there was an issue oh and we ordered fries which got to the table when we were like three quarters through the meal already and then and then the fries are out i'm like ah but but ah ah anyway the fries were nice though I'll give them that the fries were nice so the food wasn't bad and i was starving so i think i enjoyed my food and i don't think it was bad at all but i do feel and, and like they could have just given us what's the word bigger portions that's right service so yes we were um welcomed very well at the entrance however our waiter was um like it, I, it wasn't busy enough for our waiter to be slow with food slow with things and also we booked for six and they put us in a place where technically only four people should sit comfortably at a restaurant after you're spending big 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 bucks so i wasn't very impressed with with that and also we kept asking to be moved to a, a um a bigger space especially because of the food and the table was small for all the food <sighs> We had to order, we had to get the guy to get us another table on the side and then would put all the empty plates and stuff on there to make space. Oh my dear. You should have just moved us, Brenda. Is that her name? You should have just moved us, Brenda, to a bigger space. The people you were waiting for didn't even arrive for that booking, mind you. you should have just moved us. But okay. I'm back in Jovic, so and secular. So a couple of other things is you have to book for this restaurant when you go in cape town just book don't don't just just rock up and then you'll be disappointed just book just for peace of mind ne? because it's always booked it was booked everything was fully booked um our waiter did help us quite a bit because eventually he helped us move to the back of the restaurant where it was um less windy um oh and the nice thing is they had blankets right so, so say you were cold or something they had blankets to keep you warm <laughs> but let me tell you something about the blankets the blankets were not washed i saw as you know what i just said lord you will heat me up with the holy spirit because these blankets are dirty i had two different ones the first one was like yay and it had a stain and that stain did not look kosher so i gave the blanket back and they gave me another one that blanket the second one now had stains on it too it was more disgusting i was disgusted so i just said you know what keep your black and child and then apparently they wash them every week listen chinchilla wash your blankets every second day just have blankets on rotation when you're washing these ones these ones are available and they are clean 
when these ones are dirty you put them in the wash these ones are now clean they're in rotation because your blankets are filthy dirty disgustingly dirty wash your blankets all right before i go any further you know it's a time if you've enjoyed this video so far do like this video and i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell should you desire to be notified every time i post a new video i will be doing a lot more restaurant reviews so um stick around so that you're well informed now let's deal with the ratings i'm gonna start with food um the food wasn't badly like tasting but because of the portions and the variety of the menu and 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 I'm not that keen so I'm gonna give the food seven drinks extremely disappointing there now so I'm gonna give you a six service I mean the guy did really help us to some degree and you know I'm not mad at it and we were greeted well so I'm gonna give them an eight venue because of how stunning the views were and also the bohemian style interior was looking very stunning so i'm gonna give them a nine cleanliness if y'all have watched my previous restaurant reviews you will know that i actually place cleanliness very high up the list if the restaurant is dirty dirty day tea i would not eat at that restaurant so i'm gonna give this restaurant a seven Menu, I'm giving them a 7. I'm not going to even explain myself again. It's just a 7. Ambiance, it was ready, chilled, really nice. I did enjoy myself, so I'll give them an 8.5. Alright, it's a total of 52.5. So that's an average of 7.5. And, and you know what? Actually, they should have gotten a 7, but you know I'm being lenient. Because of a couple things. But I'm okay with the 7.5 average. I don't think that it was the best experience I've ever had. In terms of restaurants. Sorry guys for the noise. There's kids here. And um, it's so hot. I can't close the windows guys. I will burn under this wig. I'm just saying. My neck will go black. And I'm not trying to look black on my neck. So well thank you so much for. Watching <laughs> this video. Um, and, and remember to like this video, comment down below, and um, if you have subscribed already, thank you, and you have not, do consider it, and if you really want to, do it. It'll, it'll, it'll make me happy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See you guys next video! Bye!